Hey everybody, Miss Dietrich here helping you with a question that's been released from the 2015 Grade 6 Common Core exam. It reads, Omar has 2 and 3 fourths cups of dough to make dumplings. If he uses 3 sixteenths cup of dough for each dumpling, how many whole dumplings can Omar make? And that's the most important part, I think, is whole dumplings. Now what I've done here is we're taking this amount of dough and we're going to break it up into equal groups of 3 sixteenths. So to help your brain wrap itself around that concept, I've created this number line, which I didn't finish um, numbering, but you might be able to see where we're going with this. If we take this 2 and 3 fourths and rethink it as an improper fraction, that's equal to 11 fourths. And if we rethink it as 16ths, because we're going to be breaking it up into equal group of 16ths, that's equal to 44 16ths. So you can see here, here's one whole right here from 0, 16 16 represents 1. So if we kind of keep going here, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44. So right there would represent 44 16 which is equal to 2 and 3 fourths they're equal. All right, so now if we look for groups of 3 sixteenths, we have, here's a group of 3 sixteenths, there's one, so let's maybe circle it. Here's another group, 1, 2, 3 sixteenths. Here's another group, 1, 2, 3 sixteenths. Here's another one, 1, 2, 3 sixteenths, and so forth and so on. Now we're not going to finish the picture, we'll come back to that. Let's think of what this means in terms of what operation we're dealing with. We're breaking up this amount into smaller groups of 3 sixteenths. So that means that we're dividing. Now remember, step one is to turn any mixed or whole numbers into improper fractions. And we already know that, that we could pick any one of these, but I'm going to pick this just because it's an easier number to work with. But we could pick this if we want. But let's stick with what's easy, 11 fourths. And remember, we're going to change, we're going to think of keep, change, flip. We're going to change this to multiplication, and we're going to flip this to its reciprocal. And now we'll follow the rules for multiplying. If we have a common factor between a numerator and a denominator, we'll take advantage of that by dividing by that value. So in this case, the GCF of this number and this number is 4. 4 divided by 4 would give us 1. 16 divided by 4 would give us 4. And we don't have a GCF between this numerator and denominator, so we're ready to go across and multiply 11 times 4, which would be 44, and 1 times 3, which would be 3. Now that's an improper fraction, so let's divide it out and find out how many times 3 goes into that. 3 goes into 4 once. We get the 1 left over. Let's bring down the 4. And 3 will go into that 4 times and get the 12. And if we subtract, we get two left over. Now, if they were interested in whole dumplings, then we would make this our numerator and make this our denominator. But we need whole dumplings. We didn't have enough dough to make that 15th dumpling. So that means we got to go with 14, our answer. Now let's go back and take a look at the picture. Because this is 1, this is 2, this is 3, this is 4. Let's make sure that we get the same thing in the drawing. Here's another group, 1, 2, 3, that makes the fifth dumpling. Here's another group right here. Let's see, do I have that right? 1, 2, 3, yep, there's the sixth dumpling. Here's another one, 7. There's another, 8. Here's another, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and up. Oh, we didn't have enough, so see the two-thirds? That's not enough to make the 15th dumpling. To make that 15th dumpling, we'd need one more little grouping. Not enough, so we're going to go with 14 as our answer. B is correct.